welcome to the amazing county of Kilifi. The magnificence of the county of Kilifi can only be described by its beauty. Located on the lower coastal regions of Kenya, Kilifi County has over 1.2 million inhabitants that call this place home. With its vast pristine beaches and large evergreen plantations, Kilifi County will marvel you. Under the stellar leadership of Governor Emerson Kingi, Kilifi County has made great strides in service provision for its residents, especially in the health sector. Malengo yetu katika kitengo cha afya yanakuja kidaraja. In steps. Kwa hivyo kusema kweli ikiwa tutuliza ndani ya miaka miwili na nusu ya ugatuzi ya kuwepo kwetu ikiwa tumetimiza malengo ambayo ilikuwa tunataka kuyatimiza ndani ya miaka hiyo basi kusema kweli jibu ni ndio. Kilifi Health Department is first of all uh, uh, within the constitution is mandated to take care of health services uh, within the county. Uh, so devolved services uh, to county government system uh, has given a mandate to the health uh, department first to take care of uh, uh, health services in general. This in mention would be health facilities uh, that we run uh, previously run by the national uh, government. We have a function to also run public health uh, activities uh, within the county. Uh, we also have a function of ensuring that the pharmacies uh, or pharmaceuticals are provided uh, within uh, the facilities. Uh, we also have functions of managing the resources uh, that have been deemed for the health department. Challenges in areas that had been struggling before the advent of devolution like low patient numbers, high staff turnover, poor medical and financial records, lack of continuous professional medical training, access to quality and affordable drugs and medical supplies and other infrastructure in the health sector have all seen a remarkable turnaround in the past three years. <laughs> wamelazwa kitanda kimoja Hilo sasa tunalizika katika kaburi la sahau We inherited uh, the system as it's running uh, but of course with challenges um, infrastructure uh, challenges uh, this is in terms of uh, the health facilities uh, the equipment uh, that we had running over time, uh, systems uh, that were running then. The department, when we inherited it, had a lot of challenges in the national government. We had issues of personnel, we had issues of infrastructure, we had issues of uh, pharmaceutical products and non-pharmaceutical products. So it was a department kind of a shambles, but now I think we've brought it together and it is growing at a very rapid rate in terms of service delivery and also infrastructural development. The county government of Kilifi Health Department has in response to the Kenya Vision 2030 imperative put to use the public-private partnerships and collaborations with various stakeholders in the achievement of the long-term goals. They have forged important partnerships that have allowed them to widen their scope in health to be in sync with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number 17. These partnerships gave birth to the inaugural Kilifi County Health Department Surgical September that took place across the county at various hospitals. Uh, this is an initiative that uh, we developed as a department uh, that we have dubbed as the Kilifi Surgical September um, in the sense that we want to have 
direct intervention to uh, the patients or clients um, away from the norm of seeing these clients in the health facilities. One, we had a very long list of the patients who were awaiting there to be operated. One reason was um, the list prolonged because most of our people cannot afford to undergo surgeries. And also um, the distance that some of our patients were coming from. And uh, we sat as a department and decided to bring um, partners along so that they will help us have a surgical camp for treating our people in Kilifi. Uh, sincerely speaking, with the help of our Public Service and Evolution Department, through the sub-county administrators, we were able to bring people from all the 35 wards, from all the villages, uh, for the people who are majority were listed as beneficiaries to be operated and also new clients that we got along the camp. Surgical September was launched by Governor Emerson Kingi, who reiterated his county government's commitment to having a healthy and productive population in Kilifi County. Katika budget zetu tunakisha kwamba tumeweka enough pesa ya kutosha ya kufanyia training. Ili tupeleke madaktari wetu waje na ujuzi zaidi. Tupeleke wauguzi wetu waje na ujuzi zaidi ili kuhakikisha kwamba sekta hii ya afya tumeweka katika mikono ambayo ni watu ambao wanajua wanafanya kazi gani The week long exercise that involved specialized teams of surgeons, doctors, nurses and caregivers doing back to back surgeries in various hospitals across the county Kilifi itapata madaktari wageni wa pasuaji 30 ambao watakuja kuwa na sisi kutoka kesho mpaka juma mpaka jumamosi We are here today to launch our medical camp and surgical camp. Uh, the camp is here so that it can improve our health of our common mwananchi. The camp will run for one week whereby first uh, the first two days we are going to offer services on the ground and uh, the third day and the fourth fifth we shall have surgical camp in the hospitals and the camp uh, for surgical will take place in our three main hospitals that is Kilifi Malindi and uh, Maria Kani When you go out for outreaches, these are very different from the other outreaches. The other outreaches normally they only contain the reproductive health component, namely family planning, you'll find immunization, you'll find uh, antenatal care. But when you go out with Beyond Zero campaign uh, mobile outreach, when you go out there, we carry all the expertise. We actually uh, move around with all the cadres, namely the nutrition, we have physiotherapy, we have occupational therapy, we have medical officers, we have clinical officers, so we have a blend of all the health workforce in the Beyond Zero. This makes it very different and the community down on the ground really appreciate because they are able to get all the services like a supermarket and like the other outreaches that, you know, are mainly focused on reproductive health and immunization. Here we are uh, at uh, the Karisa Maitha grounds. We have come up with the initiative to reach out to people, uh, expert uh, movement, uh, expert approach towards uh, service delivery so that instead of uh, patients or clients coming to the facilities, we are also looking for ways of getting to the clients as they are equally down there. So this is an initiative that we are putting through that will be running every year. The biggest partner in this exercise were the Surgical Society of Kenya, who partnered with the County Health Department to provide as many as 30 specialist surgeons to operate on cases that had been pending for quite a while. Uh, every year we purpose to do a surgical camp in one or other of the counties in the country. The best model for us is to work with county governments. And uh, this year we are very privileged and thrilled to have to work with the Kilifi County government. 
Uh, the reason we are thrilled is because uh, I think we know what the county is doing uh, in terms of uh, uh, bringing to the fore the health issues uh, in the county. And we are thrilled because this is a perfect alignment of what we want to do as a society and what the Kilifi County is doing. Because of the heavy load of surgical patients in this country, because we are still very few surgeons in this country, we work with the county government to ensure at least that um, when we come, there will be cases which routinely would be a heavy load to the resident surgeons, but also there will be some cases which uh, maybe uh, we need some special service because we have all surgeons of different specialties who are members. That is one, and that is the mandate which brought us here to work uh, in Kilifi County. Some of the cases that were operated on during the week-long exercise were mostly hernias, hydrocelis, and goiter. Now, hernias in children, they could be something related to how you're born, especially in boys. We don't see hernias especially a lot in girls, we see them in boys. The common surgical cases here is number one, are hernias, mainly in men. Number two are uh, hydrocelis which are extremely big. We don't see these in many other parts of Kenya. Number three is uh, prostate diseases, especially the one which is causing obstruction of urine flow. The surgical services were provided at no cost at all to the patients. Surgical September was one of those milestones where we were able to bring in uh, very many players, very many uh, people who came out to support us in terms of getting the people to get specialized treatment uh, in various ailments. And I think uh, the department scored a first in getting very many sponsors in many things, very many doctors who came in and personnel who were able to uh, come and help the people of Kilifi. Young Peter was born with a case of undescended testicles. Hiya. Mtoto alianza kugonjeka nilirealize wakati mtoto alikuwa mdogo shida zake akawa simwelewi nikawa namwangalia nikakuta kuna ile test yake moja ilikuwa haiko Sasa nilipompeleka nikaenda na kuru upenda na kuru nikakuta daktari kule kanambia ni beta afanye operation irudishwe mali pake his mother could not afford the money to get the operation needed to make him better. So, I told him I was the operation, I was the money, I was the money, I was the money. I prefer to go to the hospital in Kilifi, where they have the better services, and I was the money cheap. Luckily for them, the Kilifi County Health Department enlisted them into the surgical September camp. Sedona Kilifi Hospital, Department of Health, Kilifi, na Sandona Ongojia for operation sasa. Hivi saizi na frey kwa sababu tumemalizana na madaktari, na putaka kupele kwa ward, ndio nende sasa nipata admission number pale. What you want to go and do, you want to go and do an operation called Okidopexy. Probably move the testes from where it is lying around the groin area down to the scrotum where it's supposed to be. The operation itself is known as Okidopexy and I think it's, uh, his luck is going to be done by one of the pediatric surgeons in our team from Kenyatta. After a series of tests, young Peter finally got the surgical procedure done by the specialist at the Kilifi County Hospital. We have had uh, a young boy who had an undescended testis. The, the, the young people recover very well and we expect that within two, three days they should be well and be at home. Ameza kuenda vizuri, na mefanyo operation yake vizuri, na ameza kutoka vyema.
at Malindi Hospital, Mze Jefwa was also about to undergo a surgical procedure. He too had been scheduled for surgery, but he could not afford the fees. Uwezo ndo hatuna, ikabidi tuende mbio huku na huku. His procedure went on very well. Across the county in Mariakani Sub County Hospital, Mze Ngumbao had his surgical procedure done by another team of surgeons from the Surgical Society of Kenya. Kilifi County Health Department has working relationship with private hospitals located within the county. When uh, the county government approached, her to, approached us with this uh, noble idea, we found that uh, it uh, fits smugly within our mission of giving back uh, to society. And so for the first time, we are having such a camp being run with the local doctors, uh, which I think uh, is a much better and a more effective uh, uh, way of uh, running the program. This is an initiative that has been key in improving the capacity of the health provision. With our collaboration with uh, the Kilifi County, uh, Malindi itself, uh, I think uh, they have planned for around 130, 130 cases to be done within the two facilities, which is the Malindi District Hospital and uh, our facility, Afi International. During the surgical September exercise, the County Health Department partnered with KYM Afya Hospital located in Malindi and St. Luke's Hospital located in Kaloleni to have some surgical procedures done in these facilities. I'm leading the team that's at Mariakani Hospital and uh, St. Luke's Hospital, but the other teams are at Kilifi and Malindi. So the teams that are at Mariakani and St. Luke's have uh, I ran into about 140 patients, but the ones after screening, the operations we've had, t today they should be towards uh, 50 in two days. We came in on Thursday and we started operating on Friday. They had screened about 180 patients from Mariakani. We are part of them. And uh, it has been a big experience. The surgical camp success was coupled with the impact of installation of new medical equipment at Malindi Hospital, Mariakani Hospital and Kilifi Hospital, which have been well received by the residents and have helped the health department to ensure provision of affordable, accessible healthcare services to all. Previously, as compared to using cassettes, today we're going to use a phosphor plate, which is the most digital component of this machine. Hii sasa ni mara kwanza kabisa kupata machine na aina hii hapa Kilifi County. Nikipiga button ile ni yenyewe tu itajigeuza itajiset kama vile inavyofanya. Kama jana ilihudumia wagonjwa 35, juzi 33. Kwa hivyo siku hizi nahudumia kama tufanye average ya wagonjwa 30 kwa siku. Provision of new MRI machines, X-ray machines, ambulances, and various specialist equipment have been purchased by the county to ensure that the health department fulfills its mandate. Kwa sababu ya afya kuwekwa katika milki ya serikali ya county, leo hii serikali ya kilifi na wakazu wa kilifi wanajivunia ambulance zaidi ya ishirini. Na si ambulance kwa sababu zimeandikwa jina ambulance. Ni ambulance kwa sababu zinavifaa 
ambavyo vinatakikana kuwa ndani ya, ya gari inaitwa ambulance hospitali zetu zimeweza kubadilika ziko na mabadiliko makubwa sana hali ambayo tutasema inatufurahisha we have achieved a lot every county has its own uh, privileges and challenges but i can only just talk of the achievements that we've done as a Kilifi county health department and uh, you cannot compare what was there before and what is now after the revolution because we've achieved so much as a department in Kilifi County. The department is procuring a lot of equipment to upgrade the existing hospitals and also some of the health centers are being upgraded so that they can reach the stage of being hospitals. All in the name of ensuring that uh, we bring the services closer to the people. And I can actually say the county government of Kilifi is so committed in terms of ensuring that its people get the best in terms of health service delivery. The, the county government of Kilifi has a deliberate program of uh, equipping our hospitals with diagnostic equipment and also to ensure that we have the personnel and the reagents and all the non-farms available to ensure that any kind of ailment available in this county can be treated here without having to wait for for surgical September. Uh, currently, if we go to the hospital, we have a new digital x-ray. At least we have three in the, in the county. We have one in Malindi, one in Mariakani, and uh, one here in Kilifi. We have installed three new CT scans here in, uh, in, in Kilifi, in Malindi, and uh, Mariakani. Patients no longer have to travel outside the county to seek such services. Leo hii, watu anatoroka private hospitals wanakuja hospitali za serikali ya Kilifi County kwa sababu zina vifaa bora kushinda hata zile hospitali za private zinazopatikana hapa Kilifi. Hayo ndio matunda ya ugatuzi. To ensure the scaling up provision of essential healthcare services, the county is pumping more resources into the health sector to ensure good provision and management of healthcare services. More so we are keen on uh, procuring equipment and hiring of medical uh, workers without uh, human resource and equipment then those buildings will be of no use so we've actually concentrated our resources on uh, uh, equipping equipping these facilities and hiring more staff Kilifi is one of those counties that is seen as a poor county in terms of indexes that I give. Therefore, disposable income to transport someone to the nearest, uh, to the furthest uh, hospital is still a problem. So what we're looking at is bringing uh, health facilities. We want to have at least a health facility in every location within the county. That is one. Two, we also want to ensure that the maternity is provided at the nearest place so that mothers don't have to travel long distances. Uh, owing to the fact that our roads are not the best, although we are working towards ensuring that our road goes, you see that Kilifi is a very vast county, probably the sixth largest in the country. For somebody to uh, look at a health facility that's verified becomes a problem with the person, but we are looking at providing health facilities and service delivery to the nearest. Uh, less than five kilometers. In the area of human resource, the county is hiring more doctors, clinical officers, pharmacists, lab technicians, and caregivers to improve services in hospitals. Uh, tayari tumetangaza uh, kwa ajili madaktari katika vitengo tofauti tofauti ikiwa ni upasuaji, ikiwa ni watoto, ikiwa ni uzazi, tumetangaza. The county has been able to employ more doctors. That is, uh, before it used to have at most two doctors, but now we have 12. Also, the nurses, we used to have 25, but now we are 43. So it is positive. And another thing about access is the referral strategy, whereby the county was able to to purchase or rather distribute ambulances. We used to have one ambulance, right now we have uh, four. 
One is not operational yet, but uh, we are going to use it. So we can pick patients from the peripheries to this place. Before, we could not do that. Months after their surgeries, we caught up with young Peter, who has now made a full recovery and is as healthy as ever. Nashukuru kwa sababu mtoto alipata alipata nini nafu akapona vizuri na mtoto kwanza hapa akakuwa active na pia kutembea kwake before operation ilikuwa ni shida hizi tembea muda mrefu na baada operation anatembea long distance ya choki tena yakimbia mbio All this couldn't have happened without the county government's interventions. Sayo nashukuru kwa operation ambayo alipata kule nini huduma ambayo alipata kule Cliff. Na nashukuru madaktari ambao walimshughulikia mtoto. Afya bora kwa jamii ndio utajiri wa jamii yetu. Ama county yenye kutoa afya bora ndio county ambayo italeta utajiri kwa jamii. Tunajaribu kama county kuhakikisha kwamba hazina ya afya inatoshea mahitaji ya jamii as for mze jefwa and mze ngumbao they are on their way to full recovery and they are thankful to the health department for bringing services like this closer to people like them nasikia raha kwa sababu vile nilivyokuwa nilikuwa niko hali mbaya hata nilikuwa sina matumaini sana kwamba nitakuwa wakati huu bado niko hai. Yaani wameanza Mariakani, wakaja Kilifi, wakaenda Malindi. Kwa hivyo ninashukuru mshada huo niliopata ni kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Nika kama miezi 4. Miezi 4 hivyo. Nambi na siku nyingine juu kidogo. Nikasikia nasikia uzuri sana katika maumivu yote nilimwambia kwamba alikuwa sijapata. Kaanza kuendelea na Mamangu ndo alikuwa mwenye shida ya tezi kwa mdo wa miaka minane. Atukua tunandikiwa klinik Mombasa, lakini hatukwe za kufanikiwa. Na jana ndo wakanza hiyo shuhuli hapa Kilifi District Hospital. Mamangu wamechukuliwa akafanywa jana operation alikuwa na na tezi hapa kwenye koo. Ana sasa hata tuko kwa hodi bado anapata matibabu na hali yake pia naona inaendelea vizuri na ameamka sahi na hata ameanza kula kwa sababu ndio na labda hata aweza kumeza tena lakini Mungu amemsaidia sasa anaendelea vizuri na anaendelea tu na, na madawa kama kawaida nimekuja hapa hospitali kwa sababu ya matibabu ya bure upasuaji wa bure. Kwa hivyo ninashukuru kwa yale yale niliyofanywa 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 matibabu ya bure nashukuru Mungu. They are going for regular checkups at Kilifi County Hospital to make sure reinfections don't occur. Stop ni ule contracture. Kuna hani ya via for stop ni nani? Following the success of the first surgical September, the county health department is holding another one this year, which is going to be bigger, well organized and more effective. Tukasema kila mwaka tutakuwa na zoezi kama hili. Ili mwakani ikiwa kuna cases ambazo haziku uh, pata matibabu ama haziku shughulikiwa katika hospitali zetu tunatangaza wiki moja ambazo zile cases zote ambazo bado zina uh, ziko kule vitongojini tunazileta pamoja na zote zinafanywa uh, huduma inapeana This second intervention will help address the challenges facing the quality of health services which is a key goal to ensuring the county achieves international healthcare standards where preservation of life is paramount The success of our camp has actually motivated uh, many more experts and we've had expressions of interest of um, other partners wanting to you know come in to be able to be part of that activity 
Next year, September, we want to do it in another, in another sub-county. So as we, at the end of the, the period, we reach everyone. And this is not a one-off. We are not looking at it as a one-off. We want to be able to, to do this every year. And from this activity, it's the first time we're doing it. But after this activity, we expect that from here we start the resource mobilization for the next activity. Kilifi County, we are proud to, to have donors who really support us. And uh, the donors also are willing to partner with the Department of Health. This is a key, uh, a key message to the department that we have people who are ready to work with us. I thank the county leadership, the governor, uh, Honorable uh, Kingi, and his team for giving us this opportunity to at least to come and serve the people of Kilifi County. And also to thank our sponsors. Kenyatta National Hospital has always been with us every time. Gatfruits Hospital, Kikuyu Hospital, and uh, among the, pharma, the Upper Hill Medical Center, and among the pharmaceuticals, Hull is Limited, for enabling this uh, uh, activity to be successful. The Kalifi County Department of Health is in the process of finishing up the construction of a warehouse at the Kalifi County Hospital compound. This is to create a functioning storage system that tracks availability of medicines and consumables like gloves, needles and bandages to all health facilities. This warehouse uh, is uh, going to store uh, commodities in uh, what we would categorize as pharmaceuticals and non-pharmaceuticals um, plus other small equipments that we always procure. The essence here is to be able to manage stock at this county central level so that distribution is actually easier. We are able to anticipate, we are able to forecast. The warehouse will allow immediate transfer and sharing of medicines among health facilities in the county when need arises. There's a big project that is coming up, ICU and accident emergency that uh, we, we are already underway uh, doing. Hopefully it will kick on at the start of 1617. There is an ongoing process facelifting health centers and equipping facilities handed over from the Constituency Development Fund to help provide clean, quality and affordable services. We are rehabilitating all these facilities and also equipping them to be able to operationalize these facilities. And in fact, uh, in this current financial year, we've already started uh, refurbishing uh, 10 uh, of these facilities and uh, soon we'll be able to make them operational. And we have come in as government and we're faced with this because the facilities are there, they've been put up. But how do you start opening them? You need a doctor, a nurse and several personnel, then you need uh, supplies to that. So you see our budget is very high because we intend to open by the end of this next financial year. 2016-2017 to open all those facilities and put personnel and have them function. We are concentrating our resources on uh, things that will be outlive even our existence here and it is our hope that uh, the first five years of this county government will, will create a good foundation for, for this uh, uh, county in, in the years to come. Kilifi County. A healthy county is a wealthy county.